and it is free. Free guy. <laughs> uh, you know, I am actually surprised that's not in the movie. Uh, a Mariah Carey song is one of like the big songs in the movie. Um, but I'm like, yeah, no, I think about it. It's like, yeah, free guy, like free fallen. That could have been it. Or, um, free bird. Um, seriously, do you know how many songs actually have free in there uh, in the name that you could have used? I mean, there's nothing wrong with the soundtrack. These free guy is a real, like everything you've been hearing about it, uh, bigger than great reviews. Actually, let me uh, actually get the Rotten Tomatoes up right now so I know what I'm referencing. Uh, everything you've been overall hearing about Free Guy is pretty spot on the money. Yeah, Free Guy holds a solid 80% on Rotten Tomatoes. Like, obviously, no one's, very few films over, always ever hold a rotten, uh, 100% Rotten Tomatoes score from the critics. And frankly, let's be clear, that's just the critics. Don't use that as the tried and true base of what to judge your opinion on. Use it as at least a, a starting, you know, a starting uh, point. But then just judge your own opinion, because the audience is like 94% of them love it. And that's verified uh, for Rotten Tomatoes. But, yeah, everything you're hearing about, like the the main, uh, like, review I can hear is, like, combining a clever concept, sweet, self-aware humor, and charming cast. That is verbatim. Like, look, this story is exactly what you see in the, in the trailer. Um, you know, a guy, Ryan Reynolds, he's an AI well, he's a he's an NPC in a game, but due to a, a certain plot point, he actually is evolved and actually has become sentient and aware of who he is in his world. And there's this threat that poses this world due to things happening with the other main characters in the story that's uh, causing you know havoc and possibly causing the end of their world, and they got to stop it. And look, it's, the movie is full of heart, it's full of charm, it's got some fun action to it. The scene where the two, uh, I don't actually know what they're supposed to, I think they're supposed to be like moderators. Uh, one dresses, they dress like cops, but one's dressed as a cop, one's dressed as a bunny, because like, the ra alpha predator rabbit, yeah. Chasing guy in this, um, like, uh, this skyscraper, and basically I'm going god mode on this guy, and as you see the wackiness, by the way, I'm not spoiling anything that's not in the trailer, you do see a bit of this in the trailer. Like, that's a lot of, there's a lot of creativity in this. Uh, definitely. Like, visually, it looks very nice. Particularly the end looked beautiful. Um, there's a lot, the, the humor in this, it is spot on. There's, like, two jokes that were a bit on the topical side. Um, I'll admit, and they didn't get, I didn't get quite as big a laugh out of them, neither did my girlfriend. Uh, as maybe I should have, like, there's a joke about gun violence compared to his world compared to ours. I'm like, I knew exactly where that joke was going. And it's like, eh, okay. Um, but then it goes right back into something else. That's very funny. Um, or Ryan Reynolds, Ryan Reynolds is one of those guys who just naturally is likable. Like, I don't give me, I'm sure there's people who don't like Ryan Reynolds. I'm sure there is. But in terms of, like, having natural char uh, charisma, charm, um, you know, sense of timing, humor, uh, but can also, like, actually do legitimate acting. Because Ron Reynolds can do some legitimate acting. Like, ooh, he is a actually really good actor. I mean, not just, not to say, oh, like, Deadpool isn't, like, good acting for what he has to do. But I'm talking about, like, legit drama and things along those lines. He can do that really well. Uh, and, like, there, there's scenes involving, like, you know, the whole, it's almost existential about what he's dealing with, about the concept of, you know, him not being real. And what I actually kind of find interesting, and I thought would have bothered me, but didn't, is the fact that, as an audience, from the trailer, we know exactly what the, what the, it's going on. That guy isn't a player, he's an NPC with AI, artificial intelligence to him, that's evolved, has evolved. But, like, the people interacting with these players don't realize that until much later on. And it's actually very interesting. You'd think that would get old. And I'm sure for some people, because remember, 20% of the critics didn't like it. 6% of the people who saw it, verified Rotten Tomatoes, didn't like it. Um, maybe it didn't work for some of but I actually thought the fact that they kept asking that question, they just couldn't understand it until a certain point was actually very interesting to watch because it still just leads to fun jokes like, oh, what are you, how'd you get that skin? It's like, I was born, people can ask me that, I was born with it, uh, you know, uh, good genes, all that. Um, and the interactions he has with other people in the world who aren't, uh, who, who as an AI aren't, uh, or NPCs aren't um, 
evolving on the same level he is is very interesting because when he actually decides to do something outside of his normal programming it actually messes with the other like the other npcs like they don't know how to react initially and this the small changes that come from that later on that you see evolve into this whole new world and it's very interesting uh i like the uh, i like the cast um jody comer who i believe is from killing eve she's eve um she's the psychopath uh, I, I believe she's, she was really good. I really liked her a lot. Uh, I liked her too, because she's, I'm not going to spoil too much, but obviously there's a thing with her and Ryan Reynolds and it doesn't quite go the way you think. I mean, it, it ends kind of the way you think it's going to end, but not, uh, the way their relationship handles, but it's actually very charming how she interacts with this obviously clearly not physically real person. Uh, Joe Keery is uh, the guy is her friend and someone who helped her to, uh, you know helped her out back in the day. Uh, Lee uh, Lee Rail Howie Hauer is his best friend Buddy. Buddy's awesome. Like Buddy's actually just a really good character. Um, and like there's no romantic chemistry with him and Ryan Reynolds. Like Ryan Reynolds clearly has interest in this woman, but you get the impression that besides being best friends. When you deal with dude who you do see in the trail, it's that giant buff version of Ryan Reynolds t- sent in to like take him out. <laughs> he's, there's a tra- he's in the trailer, so yeah. Um, it's like he's just feeling him up. Like, is there like something I'm not uh, I'm not that uh, that we're not made aware of here about this character? But it's actually played up for a lot of laughs, and the character of dude is a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> catchphrase. So yeah, I haven't programmed everything, but I guess catchphrase could be a catchphrase. Taika Waititi, man. I mean, he was in Suicide Squad. He's in, um, he's in this. Actually, does he have anything else coming up this year? That's a good question. I know he's got Thor, Love and Thunder coming up next year. Taika, Taika, how do I spell his name here? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, there's an I. That's why I'm screwing it up. Taika. There we go. Taika Waititi. Uh, who I, I'm a big Taika Waititi fan, actor and directing was. Um, but um, Taika Watiti, does he have anything else coming up this year? That's what I'm curious about, first off. Because if he does, I might be saying this might be the year of Taika. Uh, let's see here. So 2021. Oh, he's got, obviously, he's got What We Do in the Shadows Season 3 coming out. So he's got all of that. Um, uh, oh, wait. I'm oh, sorry. That's writer. I'm sorry. That's writer. I'm looking for actor. Well, I mean, technically speaking, that's also something he's involved in for this year. He's also involved in Wellington Paranormal. Um, Reservoir, Reservoir, or excuse me, Reservation Dogs, it's coming out. Uh, so he's doing Thor Love and Thunder next year. Uh, he's got Untitled Star Wars Project 2025. Uh, in terms of actor, um, he was in, uh, he's in Thor Love and Thunder as Core. He's just in Free Guy. He was also in, um, um, uh, oh, a Suicide Squad. Um, uh, The Suicide Squad, anyway. Wow, really? They're not listing him in for that. That's weird. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Um, yeah, I know. I, oh, uh, Save Ralph. It's a short where he voices our character named Ralph. Uh, Deadpool Maximum Reactions. Cork. Oh, yeah, that where they oh, that did the reaction for you guys. That was great. This could be... The, you could honestly argue this is the year of Taika Waititi, man. I mean, is he directing anything coming up, too? Uh, I mean, besides Thor Love and Thunder? Um, let's see here. He's got... Oh, crap. Wow. He's got Thor Love and Thunder. Next Goal Wins, which... That comes, okay, that's something that comes, I don't even know what this is. Next Goal Wins coming out this year. Uh, Adaption of 2014 British documentary, the story of American Samoa soccer team suffered the worst loss in US, in World Cup history, losing to Australia 31-0 in 2001. Interesting. Yeah, it's got Elizabeth Moss, Michael Fassbender, Army Hammer. We'll see how his career is handling, give everything over here. Rachel House, Frankie Adams, right? Reese Darby. Um, yeah, I mean, wow. It, hey, man, I might be arguing this is the year of Taika right now. But he plays basically the villain of the movie. And, no, without giving too much weight, he is very much, a, he's a, he plays a really good dick. He, like, he plays a really good, like, you do not want this guy to win. But don't get me wrong, he's very likable, and he's like a, char- he's a very charming asshole just in the way he kind of, ha- like, presents himself. But he's still very much an asshole. <laughs> um, and, yeah, it's one of those things where you're not rooting for him, but you are having fun watching him, and you do want to, you know, 
fail because of just what he's doing, just how much he doesn't give to crap worth the uh, worth the piss. I'm like, Sarah, two squ uh, two squirts of piss or something like that. Whatever the phrase is, he doesn't give a shit. Um, so yeah, I mean the story. It's a fun story. It's fun. Honestly, it's just charming. It's fun. It's got some fun action. It's got a lot. It's actually got some really deep, like really heartfelt moments or heartwarming moments too. Some actually and some really thought provoking questions too about you know. My girlfriend brought up. Um, there's a scene where he's talking. You, you really see this in the trailer, um, but this isn't any real spoiler. It's after he's been told he's an a, a. He's basically not real. He's talking with Buddy and he's having this conversation. It's like, it's like, what would you do if you're not real? But he's just like, doesn't matter. He's like, what? Look, I'm here with my friend right now, helping him through a crisis that he's dealing with right now. If that's not real, I don't know what is. And you know, it's it's really talking about you know what is reality and how do you perceive it and you know. There's some depth, there's actually some real interesting questions about, you know, personal, personal, uh, you know, identity and, you know, concept of, you know, what your place is in the world and do you exist? Do you matter? All that stuff. There's some, there are some, some there's actually some surprisingly deep questions. Granted, it, it, it's space very evenly through, um, through a lot of humor, you know, just charmingness, action, all that comedy. Uh, and by the way, voice cameos too, and cameos too, like, I'm not going to say, who pops up, but there is a character, who, there's an actor who pops up briefly, I'm like, oh, I, okay, I guess he's got this camera, and then he shows up later again, as, and like, apparently he does have a role, I'm like, oh, thank God, he wasn't just a kid, like a brief cameo, like just for whatever, no, he's actually a character, and it's one of the funniest scenes in the movie, <laughs> because you're seeing this character, and you're seeing the person who's playing this character, and this, you know, it, like this character, I'm not going to say the actor, but this actor who's like all cool, the way he's presenting himself in the movie. And you see who he is in the real world. He's just kind of this loser kid, you know what I mean? He's nonsense. Um, so there's that. And then like there's voice cameras. I'm not going to say where, but listen for it. Hugh Jackman's in the movie. You don't see him, but he's got a voice cameo. You'll hear it when, when you notice it. Because I'm listening to it, like, is that Hugh Jackman? But also there's other cameos too. I, I didn't notice them, so I will say. Uh, John Krasinski... Rock, they all have voice cameos. I think there's other cam voice cameos too, but I just, I don't know where they were. Um, I'm pretty certain that if I went, and I saw what they were labeled as, if I looked through it again, I could find in the movie who they were. Um, but yeah, just f listen for it and you'll find, listen for their voice and I'm sure you'll find it. Overall though, I, look, this is just, as, this is as fun as most people are saying it is. This is as good as most people are saying it is. I can see why Disney didn't put this on Disney+. Plus. For many reasons, obviously, I'm, I'm not liking the Disney Plus. I love Disney Plus. I actually really do. I hate their premium service. Like I feel like that was just it was a good. It was a good attempt, but they were just they didn't do the first the right movies, and they it it just did not work out. It just did not work out in my opinion. Uh, but there's a reason they they clearly had a lot of faith in this. And fingers crossed, because they apparently want to make this into a franchise. We could see a franchise with this. I'll be down 100% for a franchise with this movie. But, because then you get free gal, free couple, free dude, uh, you know, free people, uh, free guy too, the free inning, um, free bird, um, free Tibet, who knows? Uh, you want to get topical? Uh, anyway, that though is my review for free guy. I loved it. I highly recommend it to anyone who wants to go out and watch it. Do I do recommend it. Absolutely. So then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, if you want to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review of it at some point. I just want to win Star Super Magic. What if anything to the channel? Put that in the comments below as well. I'll get to that at some point. Hit that bell if you want to be notified. And I'll catch you folks later. I I will... I'm actually not going to do my... Uh, well, no. I'll do a prediction video at some point. I'm not going to do a review just because it's. I think it's... I don't feel it's too late, but I just not having the time at the moment to do it i'll do a prediction video for the new bleach arc we're pro most likely getting i'm not going to do a review of the chapter though but i think i'm going to save that for like sunday anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoy it and i'll see you next time